You name Winston-Salem, it's a day where Clemson has an opportunity to continue their dominance. You know, the last time Wake Forest beat Clemson was also the last time that Clemson was led by someone other than Dabo Sweeney. Tommy Bowden was the head coach right after that. Dabo became the interim and took it, and Dabo's kind enough to join us as he walks the field. Dabo, that, that day 14 years ago sort of changed your life and your career. What do you think about when you walk back into that stadium every time? Oh, uh, man, this is, uh, we've had a lot of, we've had a lot of tough battles here, you know, my, all the way back to my, my first year in uh, 03, we came here and we got beat, and I remember going back the next week, I was building a house, and my builder, I was an assistant, and we were five and four, and my builder said, uh, hey, I got somebody that'll buy this house for you if it doesn't work out, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And fortunately, we beat, we beat uh, the, the Knowles the next week, we're like number three in the country, and we finished nine and four, and Coach Bowden got a new contract, and I got to move in my house, so that's the first thing I think about, but uh, certainly, I think about Gaines Adams making one of the greatest plays I've ever seen here uh, to help us win. Rest in peace, Gaines. And, and then certainly that night uh, in 08, uh, I had no idea what was coming. But, you know, it was God's plan, and I'm just uh, thankful, you know, to still be here and have the opportunity to be a part of Clemson and, and do my part to help this team, you know, hopefully reach its potential. And now you got an arcade in your basement years later, so things, things have worked out for sure. <laughs> hey, uh, co Coach, th this, uh, <laughs> this offense with DJ, how is he different based on what you've seen from last year with all that experience, second year in the system? What are you seeing that's different with him right now coming into this, this game? Well, he's just mentally tougher. Uh, he's much more confident. And, you know, we're better around him, which I think has made him better. But the biggest thing is, you know, we all grow through adversity. If you're made of the right stuff, you know, it makes you better. We don't like it, but it makes you better. And he's made of the right stuff. He's an unbelievable kid. He's one of the most, you know, humble leaders I've ever been around. And he has, he's put the work in, but he's just battle tested. Uh, he's got some good experience and he's got some bad experience. And he's just a much more confident young man in, uh, in what he's doing. Great ownership of what we're asking him to do offensively. He's a much more uh, confident runner. I think that's a reflection of, you know, what he did from a uh, uh, just, just getting his body where he wanted it to be. He's healthy. Uh, so I'm really proud of him. I mean, he's not perfect, but, man, he is so much improved, and he's really gotten better every week. And I, I like the look in his eye. And, you know, the number one thing is he's providing great leadership for this team, not just the offense, but for the team. And, uh, you know, great energy every single day at practice. So I'm really proud of him and, and uh, really uh, expect him to play well. But he's not the only confident runner. You're pretty confident running down that hill, too. I think he got some quicks. Last week. Yeah, yeah. The, the speed's yeah. still there. Are you going to sprint impressive. out onto the field without the hill to sort of give you a little extra boost of speed? Those hamstrings. That's impressive. Bro, my hamstrings you know, are still yeah, watching you know, yeah. you, know what's, you know what's funny about that is <laughs> I've been doing that since my very first game in 08, and 14 years later, some, re some reason people want to watch. I have no idea why it's a thing, but... I've been doing that literally every game for 14 years. And uh, so I, I think I may have been faster that first one. You might want to go back and check it. But. Hey, we don't, hey, we don't want, man, we don't want you to get hurt or anything, but because we're all in our 50s, we're waiting to see if that hamstring's going to pop like a guitar string. Well, well, here's hey, Dabo, thanks the a lot Herbie. for doing this. I never, I never knew what it yeah. felt like to run a 4-7, and it took a hill that steep to figure that out. So it's good. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, That's God. Dabo Swinney. He's probably trying to burn calories because when they go to Winston-Salem, if they win, the Tigers get Krispy Kreme. There you go. There you go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.